Good morning, guys. It's Rochelle from Monoline Furniture in beautiful Sydney. I can't knock it. It's, what are we in? Autumn. It's beautiful. I'm in my winter PJs, but I'm feeling a bit warm. Anyway, today we're going to transform these girls. Let's have a look. Right, so I always grab these this style when I can get hold of them, which isn't very often. They're quite sought after. These are big bedsides. Um, I need to replace the draw pulls because they're half missing. So I'm going to fill these holes. Um, so I'm going to sand the top on the body at this point. Don't hold me to it. I'm going to use Silk Mineral All-in-One Anchor, which is their black. I'm going to sand down the top and I think again don't hold me to it I'm gonna do a wash on the top I don't have any stain that I would like to use a whitewash so I've watered down Dixie Belle buttercream chalk this is at a ratio of about one to three so one part paint three parts water and then I'm gonna wash over this I think that'll look nice to have a black body with a really light top but we'll see um, and then I'll seal the top with gator hide that's my plan at the moment Anyway, first things first, let's get sand in. As I'm not using these draw pulls, I'm going to fill these holes. So I'm going to fill it with Dixie Belle Mud in brown and I'm using the Dixie Belle Mud spatula. all been cleaned in white lightning uh, washed off with fresh water and prior to that it was snuff sand with 120 now it's time for the paint so like I said I'm using Dixie Belle silk in the color anchor which is their black this paint is the perfect paint for quick flips got a built-in primer built-in top coat right so when you open these You'll find that there is this skin on the top. Don't try and brush it in. It's just protecting it. Don't, um, mix it in. Take it off. Throw it away. Now you'll see that there is, it's a light on the top. Now that's the built-in top coat. So you have to mix that all through. It's really important with the silk that you mix it thoroughly. Because you've got to make sure that all those components are through it all the way. The primer, the top coat, paint. It's a three in one, remember. So I'm using my Dixie Bell Mini. So remember when you were using silk that it's got this built in top coat and it's got you can't overwork it so it's not like chalk where you can reactivate it by spraying it with water once this dries it dries so don't go back and try and rework it if you see an area that needs reworking just go back to it when it's dry and fix it up if you try to rework you'll create texture then you'll have to sand it back to smooth it out
Right, I'm loving the Bells and Whistles transfers at the moment from Dixie Bell. So I'm going to give the draw sides a bit of a pop. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is just slice one of these in half and have that on either side. So that's a definite. Right, and there's two of those. So all I'm going to do, I'm only going to put it on the top drawers. I don't want to do all five drawers on each. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right, let me get set up and we'll get it done. Right, so I've sliced it down the middle, cut off the edges just to give me the ability to get right into this corner. This is the top of the, no, it's not. This is the drawer facing my way. So this is the direction I'm going to have them in. So I'm just going to peel off the backing sheet. Excuse all the neighbor's dogs going nuts. And I'm going to stick it down. There we are, and I'm just going to burnish it. So with the burnishing tool that you get with it, Beautiful. How nice is that? Right, now I'm just looking for new draw pulls. I've got these plain black ones. They're quite shiny, so what I'm going to do is just give them a quick stuff sand. Oh, I quite like what that's doing actually. See a silver underneath. Right, I'm going to give it a quick scuff sand and then I'm going to go over it with this gemstone mousse from Dixie Bell. This is the first time I've used it. So what it says, eco-friendly, non-toxic, water-based, creamy, rich and shiny, add gemstone flair to your furniture and home decor projects. Okay. Prep unpainted surface with white lightning or allow Dixie Bell paint to dry completely. Spread a small amount of gemstone with a brush, sponge or finger, let the gemstone mousse dry for 30 minutes and it cures within 24 hours. Let's have a look. Oh wow, that's gorgeous, look at that, oh that's going to look so nice with the black, right little brush, it says you can put it on your finger as well, oh wow, I wasn't expecting it to be that good, right look, hang on, what do you think next to the black? That's gorgeous. Right. So this is the gemstone mousse in the colour amber. It comes in other colours. If you have a look at the Dixie Bell website, you'll be able to see them all. Yeah, so I'm just going to wait for that to dry. And then I'll go over it with... Um, I might even put some black wax over it. We'll see. But I'm liking that. That's really good. Okay, going into the final steps. Right, let's get this stain on. So, I originally sanded this with a 120 grit. Now it's, I've just gone over it with a 240 so it's nice and smooth. Get all the sand dust off. Now I'm going in with my mix, which is buttercream, chalk and water. And it's one part paint or buttercream to three parts water thereabouts and all I'm going to do is wipe it on I'm using my Dixie Bell premium chip brush I'm going to wipe it on and then wipe it off There they are, all finished and ready for photos. 
I can't express to you just how much I love silk. Look at that finish. As always, thanks for sticking with me, guys. This has been a fun one. It's quite quick. Great products. What can I say? If you're looking for any of these products, just have a look in the description. I'll link to everything. Um, and thanks again. I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.